When I first started, I was scared shitless, you know, I had no connections, so I just started going door to door and, and it, was, it was really a thrill in the beginning. I love denim and this has been in my family and in my blood for 63 years. My grandfather started our company. I used to play with my brother and my sister in the boxes of denim and jeans and stuff. So I knew even when I was in grade you know, four and five, um, everybody wanted to be like a doctor or a lawyer or a fire, firefighter or whatever. I said, no way, I, I, I knew that I was gonna be in this industry. Five years ago, we saw the economy going down very fast. So we wanted to make a brand that could challenge all of the bullshit in the industry. But we want to go with the old school fabric that's made on the old machines, that's made slowly and more difficultly, and that is really ab about handmade and about artisanal craft. We only use Japanese denim and we only make our jeans in Canada. For me, this is barely work. I get to have the imagination of uh, an eight-year-old kid and come up with crazy, strange ideas that no one in the world has ever done before. We get to make you know, glow-in-the-dark jeans and raspberry scratch and sniff jeans, and we made the heaviest jeans in the world just because we could, uh, which, is, which is a 32-ounce denim. And m most people are like, why the hell would you make the heaviest jeans in the world? Why, why the hell would you climb Mount Everest? It's not easy or fun or comfortable. They do it because it's tackling the mountain superlative, you know, the, the tallest mountain in the world. So that's our denim superlative. We're just basically big Canadian denim nerds, and we're just obsessed. My name is Brandon Spark from Naked and Famous Denim, and handmade jeans are my passion.